matters really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> when the goal- as long as hey, as long as it works now, who cares? <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. So uh, I guess we'll just start recording. Um, I'm here with Mario Chavez from uh, California. How is it in California right now, dude? It's for like, me. No, I'm, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the weather. I'm like talking oh. about how is it in California right now. <laughs> you see, I mean, the economy is really bad. I mean, uh, a lot of people will say in the groups, "Oh no, it was good. I live in the dream," you know. But yeah. you know, normal people, it's bad because uh, I never pay attention why I'm so short of money until Mark Tanner say, "You're making the same money, uh, but now everything's more expensive." And I'm like, "No wonder," because uh, yeah. in the in the taxes, I see the years now. I'm make, kind of making the same. Mm-hmm. I, I the cost you know, of I, living, like uh, you know certain things like your gasoline and your groceries and stuff like that are yeah, gonna, it's are, everything's more expensive now yeah, yeah. and uh that's why i mean thank god we never uh got used my kids to disneyland all kind of shit like that <laughs> right? I, because i mean i have a daughter so i told my wife okay we'll do it once uh-huh. but the boys are not going because you know i i don't want them to be in the magic, I'm gonna be there because my daughter is there. Why don't but, you? Yeah, why don't you? You're gonna make your son stay home. You don't want him to be in the magic. I, no, because that that look, it, it's. I mean, I was thinking. Have they ever wife. been there? No, me neither. I never been there. Until you this all time. should go. You all should go. You and your you and your boys and your. Your your wife and your daughter one time and experience the magic together as a family, and that's what I was. Thinking, but look, <laughs> I I okay. My daughter turned five last year, so I yeah. told my wife I'm going. But the the only the only um the request I'm asking in order to go is to one we're going on a Tuesday or whatever day with it's not weekend uh-huh. because I hate traffic. And number two, not even one picture of me. You know, I don't want. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's. A, I don't want to have my reputation all the way below with Disneyland stuff like that. Well, you know? I mean, I don't think that necessarily associates you with Disneyland. You're just taking your your kids to have a good time, man. They're, I mean, they but, just want to go see like fucking, you know. Yeah, but man, you what know, are you a communist? Oh no, what are you a dictator? And, and that, <laughs> that, oh yeah, kind of. How He said, but, "Yeah, yeah. kind of." <laughs> <laughs> But I look, mean, I can understand your reasoning because, you know, Disney is a... That's weird. You know what I mean? Do you let your kids watch Star Wars? I don't think they like that. Do they... Things. They don't... Yeah, but they watch Marvel movies, right? And oh, that's, yeah. And that's yeah. Disney. But no, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about, you know, to me it was princess and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I was very wrong. First of all, mm-hmm. like we were talking about economy. Everything's mm-hmm. bad. We went there, just my daughter, my wife, and myself. Uh-huh. When I got there, there was like some canine sniffing on people. <laughs> and, and, you know, like, so that's, you know, it was weird. Number two, <laughs> just for three person, just uh-huh. to go in, they were $550. Really? And, you know, as a window cleaning, in uh-huh. order to make that money, you got to. So, and I say, if I... T- We'll have taken my other two kids. Uh-huh. We'll be almost nine hundred bucks or eight hundred bucks just to yeah. go in the gate. Plus, whatever you're gonna eat, mm. you're talking about more than one thousand dollars a day. No, yeah, that's, that's horrible. Man. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely can see that. I mean, I I you, my my suggestion, and I've been telling you this for a long time. You need to get out of there. Yeah, but I only wanted to. Accomplish that dream for my daughter because she was into the all the dresses from yeah the princess yeah uh, yeah I mean I've got two daughters so I know yeah it's, but when I went, when I went there I was expecting to see you know Disney but I'm promising ninety percent of the two hundred thousand people who were there they were gay people they were gay men there was no kid they were just gay people. <laughs> did you go on you might have went on gay day. 
I don't know. But that was horrible. <laughs> you know, what? What? You know, like, yeah, they're they, like certain like this. Um, the amuse the amusement park here in town. <laughs> they uh, they do uh, like on Gay Pride Day. They have a day where it's just and it's like around Father's Day. But that's the thing, you know. Like, I think it's Gay Day every day here. And everything. That's yeah. what. It, it, and it's okay. You have friends, you know, that they're they're gay. That's cool. Yeah. But Disney, I leave it for the kids, man. You can go on weekends yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's yeah. That's um. That's. I mean, that's a. That's a weird subject. I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? But yeah. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Definitely. Yeah. Um. But unfortunately. Or, or even for actually, fortunately, we live in a country where you can do things like that. No, you, I know, but you know what I'm saying. I, I so you got to take the good with the bad. Unfortunately, the only thing yeah. you can do in that situation is do what you do and just remove yourself from the situation, not even put yourself in that situation. Exactly. That's why yeah. I didn't want to go. I don't go Star Starbucks or <laughs> Disneyland anymore. All that kind of stuff because <laughs> Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> So you're pretty, you're, I mean, I, I guess, you know, it's not a secret. You're, you're a pretty traditional guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and is that, you know, is that, uh, is that like something like you're, I know, I know you, you're from a, a different, you're from a, from another, you come here from another country. Yeah. You, you, you taught yourself essentially how to speak English by listening to music. So, and Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my question is, like, your traditional values, is that something you got from your parents? Are your parents really traditional? Very, they used to be very traditional. Now my mom, I, I don't, I mean, I feel bad because my mother, you know, should be my mother to the end, but now mm. she became so feminist and stuff. My mother, that's what we fight all the time and. And I, I told her, you're not allowed to come to my house. You come in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we were raised traditional. Like, yeah. You know, I'm, I, I, I try to be very manly for my kid. Yeah. But you, I wash dishes. I a, wash dishes. There's a lot know, of. I wash <laughs> dishes. <laughs> yeah, you know, because it, it's not a man that needs to be served. You know, like my wife cook. I wash dishes. Yeah, the, that's, the, the, it should be give and take. It shouldn't be all yeah. one-sided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my kids clean the table, and only my daughter, we, you know, she's right. the only who doesn't do anything. But That's because she's little yet. Yeah, and, but I believe, you know, every uh, inside the house is a team, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, uh, but no, nowadays everybody believes that, I don't know, the men are less than women, and... Uh, I I I don't know I I don't know if that's necessarily everybody you know what I mean but there's I mean, there's yeah, a, yeah. the 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 loud majority is definitely that way now you know what I mean same you can't as, you can't you can't deny white, that same as white people mm -hmm. you know there started this thing of <clears throat> white people six years ago mm -hmm. and like no man I'm, and you notice that I'm in the I, I, I'll be honest with you, man. I've never really, personally, I've never really, I've never, that re never really bothered me. The whole, you know, f the whole hey, screw whitey stuff has never really, it's never really bothered me. I, yeah, I've never experienced in my personal life, um, anyone treat me weird because I was the only white dude around, you know, I'm. Um, yeah. like maybe a half a mile down the street there, um, <clears throat> the gas station I go to, there's an Indian guy that owns the, um, the, uh, gas station there. And, you know, that's a predominantly black neighborhood. So, I mean, you know, I'm around when I drive down there, I'm, you know, it's the closest gas station, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I don't have any, I've never had an experience where people have treated me like shit because of that. You know what I mean? So I don't, I never really feed into it. You know what I mean? Because I think yeah. it's stupid because I grew up in a time where um, that just wasn't prevalent. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, I, we all hung out together. There was never, we played sports together. There was never a problem. It wasn't until 
like the last, you know, 10 to 15 years, it's kind of gotten a little weird. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's I think when I that's... Came to this country, Go ahead. And that's when I came to this country 15 years ago. And I, and I and plus in California, you know, you feel it more. Mm -hmm. You know, like, well, talking about white people. Like, what? That's a, I mean, you live in a very progressive liberal area. Yeah. Um, I'm not... I'm I'm not I'm not saying that you know where I live is any different you know what I mean I'm not but it's yeah. more prevalent there where you yeah. live and yeah. I think California is just uh it's just that that it's that kind of state it's always been that kind of state this isn't anything new you know oh, what I mean yeah you know what I'm saying like California has always been kind of the wild spot you if you think about it when Americans first started you know, doing things here on this continent, everything was all about moving west. So they started out in the east, and they all migrated west. You know what I mean? So yeah. the wild ones went oh, yeah, west. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So with that, you're going to get, you know, in my opinion, you know, you're going to get more loose people and people that want to be um, just just by their heritage and just by their, you know, their their ancestors are probably a little more um adventurous i guess you'd say than people you know what i mean that stayed over here you know what i mean so yeah but then again you know you also have you know new york's a really weird place too you know what i mean like they 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 do there's that's another spot like california that you know is a little more and I, there's nothing wrong with that you know and again there's nothing wrong I mean, with it but it just seems like the the bigger city areas with the larger populations that seem to be a little on the younger side, you know what I mean? Kind of yeah. tend to be, you know, a little, a little different than, you know, most of the country. Yeah, you you're right. Because in Texas, you know, Texas is very conservative, mm. except like you say, the big city, Dallas, you go Dallas, like if you yeah. in Los Angeles, you go Houston, uh -huh. Oh, San Antonio, you know, when there's bigger cities, that's the right. That's the bad thing. Yeah, that's just you know. I, again, I think that's just the city. You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna. Yeah, that's why when you see people at, during voting times, the larger populated areas, the big cities are gonna be blue, and everything around them is gonna be red. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they outnumber the whole. Thing. in most cases yeah yeah, yeah in most cases for, exa for example los angeles county they have 10 million people mm -hmm. imagine that's yeah i view uh you know with all the regulations and all that stuff how is your how's window cleaning been going for you i know you do a lot of storefront work how's that been going yeah probably 90 percent of my income is storefront but since probably in the middle of 2021, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys noticed that I just got lost for a year in my oh, uncle's yeah. work because everybody canceling, 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 canceling. Uh -huh. And I just didn't want to be, you know, I don't know if that's the right word to say, com oh, no, complaining about it, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, I lost another account. Yeah. Just a bunch of emails, Mario, we're going to be canceling. So Mario, you know, like, like if right. they all knew each other. Yeah. <laughs> because at the end of the day, our service is... It's luxury. You don't really need clean windows in order to sell shoes or, right. you know, you don't need it. Right. It's, it's, it's uh, so that's why it's been bad, man. It's been bad. I haven't been that poor since 2011 or 12. But well, I, has, 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 has things started to pick back up or is it still pretty bad? They were starting to pick up a little bit and for mm -hmm. first time in probably seven years we have rained non-stop for a whole month and mm. between december and january that's what they stopped again but i got another two cancellation yesterday mm. i don't know if you knew that i have a power washing that i just bought for two coffee shops in the morning mm. they canceled on me yesterday again uh you know after five years really so yeah probably is destiny want to push me away from california just taking everything away from me or or should I just become? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's just going to be a California thing. To be honest with you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. I, yeah. I don't think that's going to be a strictly California thing. I think that um, 
the further we go along um, in the selection cycle, the worse yeah. it's going to get. And yeah, it's it gonna, is worse it's gonna, and worse. It's going to take a little more time to come back out of it um, if we if we get a chance to come out of it. You know what I mean? I I, I uh, things are definitely weird. I wouldn't say business is bad for me. I mean, I'm doing okay. Um, I've picked up a you know a few new accounts. You know what I mean. I've lost some accounts um, over the last couple of years with COVID and everything. I just you know, um, mm-hmm. and there's some stuff that I've gotten callbacks on to come back, and I just don't want to do it anymore. You know yeah. what I mean. I just I used to do a lot of restaurants, and I just kind of went to. I kind of went down the road that, you know what, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, um, only keep the things that I really like doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? If, if you it's can't too much, if it, it's not, well, it's not that I can afford it. It's Mario. It's more, um, along the lines that, uh, uh, I'd rather have different work you know what i mean there's so only oh, okay. so much time in the day you can only get up so early before yeah. it starts to it's like the law of diminishing returns you know what i mean you're gonna you know you're gonna overextend yourself on this stuff and then when hard times come along like they just did yeah um you know you're gonna be the first to go and you've just exactly. dumped all of that um yeah. energy <laughs> you know what i mean sacrifice, into, yeah. and sacrifice into that only to lose it you know what i mean and i'm just i stuck i i've decided that you know i'm gonna stick with the people that stuck with me yeah. and i'll only take the jobs that fit my schedule the best you know what i mean i uh doing things like overextending my my problem was i mean the money was really nice don't get me wrong i mean i it was it's great money you know what I mean? You know that, you know, having a lot to do is, is nice, but there comes a point where, um, you're doing so much that yeah. it's difficult to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And then you got to start asking yourself, um, you know, what am I doing all this for? If I'm always, I'm never home and yeah. I can never go do anything. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, always I working. You know what I'm saying? So I it's think- a little different when, for guys like you and I. Because guys like you and I, um, you know, we've got, you know, it's us. We do the majority yeah. of the work. And, you know, when you have people helping you, it's not, you know, I don't have anybody work for me full time. You know what I mean? I Yeah. When it gets tough in the summertime, I'll bring somebody on part time for a little while. It's usually somebody that I've related to me, you know, yeah. my brother, my daughter, something like that. I mean, you're kind of like the same way. You sub for someone, one of your really good friends, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We're always together. When it's a, right. let's say, it's a six hundred dollar house. Hey, let, let's go tomorrow, half and half, and you know, at twelve we're coming back home. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that. And a, a little bit of whatever you you were saying, I, mm-hmm. I live a little bit of that in 2019. That I was, I used to tell my wife, I just don't want to work a lot anymore you know I, w- I would like to have like a two week and now i miss those days I yeah. Wish I could. yeah 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 i do too yeah. i i'm you know when i was in the thick of it before covid um i was i was you know i was tired you know what i mean i was like this yeah. is just getting to be too much i had so much to do i had to do three sometimes four restaurants every single morning like six days a week yeah and i had to have them and i had to have them done before 10 you know what i mean i had you know monday through saturday that's all i did and it had to be done by 10 you know what i mean and it got to the point where i was just like i can't do this no more man and then covid happened then i was freaking out i was like i'm losing all these accounts but it was a blessing in disguise you know what i mean okay so you have a you had a chain of losing too in COVID. All the oh yeah, the oh yeah. It wasn't yeah. It wasn't just you. I lost a bunch. I mean, I think uh, even one of the accounts that I still do right now, one of the accounts that I kept, and I only kept them because I just been I've been doing them so long. It's almost been two decades that I've been doing those restaurants. Um, 
the Wendy's that I've been doing. I've been doing them for almost 20 years. So I'm not going to walk nice. away from that kind of relationship. You know what yeah, I mean? I, you know, that's... so even they cancel on me. I, in one day I lost six, I lost six customers within an hour. Yeah. That's in one day yeah. within an hour. I lost, I mean, just one phone call right after another. They made an announcement oh. saying that, uh, um, you know, the inside eating, you know, restaurants were going to be closed. You know what I mean? And they just, I was just like, yeah. man, dude, you know, and they did what they had to do. You know, I mean, I eventually I got called back to do uh, the Wendy's. I started like, just do the outsides. I was, you know, I got, yeah. not after not too long, but. You know, it, and, you know, a lot of those places, and it's just not us. Um, there's a lot of places that have never recovered from that. A lot of places went completely out of business. I used to uh, get my window cleaning supplies. I mean, I'm a WCR guy, of course, yeah. but, I mean, there was a guy here in town that sold m sold my rubber and yeah. um, most of all my blades i haven't really i mean i do nothing but black diamond but he sold rubber and channels and yeah. you know he was a janitorial company but That's he had a really yeah. he had a really nice window cleaning selection and he's an old guy and i've been buying my triumph scraper blades from him for years you know so yeah. i was like i'm gonna you know i put in orders with wcr but after after the pandemic, he, he, you know, he, he shut down. Now that's the only, now, I mean, WCR yeah. is the only place I got to go. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's yeah, a even lot they of, can tell you, I have, I, I have only ordered for them only once in, in years before it used to be more. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that my orders, I just, I'm a, not, and I'm, you know, I'm not a big order kind of guy. It's just me. Yeah. So I'm not ordering giant amounts of, sh of stuff because I don't need all that stuff. I mean, you know, well, you're more going to get to that too. Um, I, I'm i a minimalist. I don't have a lot of things. I, I carry what works. You know what I mean? I carry maybe a couple of channels, a couple different sizes, and a backup of an 18-inch T-bar, a backup handle. You know what I mean? But and a couple of backup channels, you know what I mean, for if there's somebody in the truck with me or whatever, um, or if something breaks, I've got, I can go immediately, you know, just keep on working, but I don't have a bunch of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't have, you know what I mean? It's just, there's no point in it, really. I know, I got, I got you. a little bit of uh, anxiety when I see your videos or, you know, doing stuff, and I'm like, did you just, just clip that thing in his hip and he just go to work? Like, no, yeah. I <laughs> I need to like agree. Yeah, you've got you care. Why do you carry some? I mean, because you carry a bunch of stuff. I think it's, it's just like I don't feel naked or something. It, it just because <laughs> I only use you know the, like you the carry mouth. every yeah you carry every towel that you own. You know you've got every tool pouch and you know you got you I, got the I whole think, thing. I think I got traumatized once. The only time in my life when I went camping to El Salvador. I, you know, I was 15 and uh -huh. I, okay, it's going to be just one night there, whatever. Okay, cool. Sleeping back. And I just took two shirts and that day it rained over there. Uh -huh. We were in the mud. I was cold. I didn't have a sweater. I didn't have another shirt. I didn't have another short because I, you know, I said just overnight. Next day in the morning, I was shaking. I was all wet and stuff. And since that day. When we go to Texas with my wife just for four days, uh -huh. I take like 20 shirts. <laughs> it, I mean, it's not going to rain or anything like that. Right. But since, that, since that day, I, I just, I don't know, like to have so many things, same as a window cleaning uh, and everything and everything. When my kids Always fight, prepared, huh? Yeah, I think I got traumatized that day when they fight or uh -huh. when they go just to sparring. Uh -huh. I have them six mouthpiece because... You know, I, I once Leo forgot his and he was just going like that without his. And I told them, this happened to me now. You guys are six mouthpiece, even they don't use it. But I just, I don't know. I just like, since that day, I just stuck so many things, even though I don't You use might it. have, you might have like a, you might have like an undiagnosed disorder <laughs> that you just don't know. Oh, <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> so many. Too many. So, um, I've always wanted to know. 
and I don't know if you've I've ever asked this question or if you've ever answered it or you know whatever the case may be but um what's the deal like why I mean why is why are you always rocking that hairstyle you know what I mean what's what the, what's with Mario's head why why don't you have why aren't you high and tight you're you know you're because, always like a Q-tip running around because I hide things with my hair um uh, <laughs> Since I was little, you know, I, I I still, you know, I consider myself ugly, but you know, back in the days in El Salvador, you have to go to the school with uniform, mm -hmm. and they check your nails to see if you don't have dirt on I it. Mean, they check if you have that uh, something to clean your boggers. I don't know what the name of the little handkerchief. Thing. Yeah, you used to have in the eighties. Uh, handkerchief. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my. Because of my mother's side of the family, we have chicken legs and we have big foreheads. And because of my dad's side of the family, we have such a big ears. Uh -huh. So when I was going to school and I was little, they used to call me Dumbo, uh, Dumbo. elephant. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or Picoro, yeah. whatever stuff, right? <laughs> so I used to say, when, I'm, when I turn 18, uh -huh. I'm going to let my hair grow. Uh -huh. uh, so I covered it. Because uh, in the school, there were so many leases back in the day that you have to be very short hair. Yeah. And, you know, when you have short hair, if you have a big mouth, it looks bigger. <laughs> you have a big ear, look bigger. So everything looks bigger. <laughs> That's why I... So I, you're... I, I, I so my, my forehead is all the way until here, I think. So I just... <laughs> <hold it. laughs> my ears. That's why I don't go... Uh, man, you're a pretty self-conscious guy, man. Yeah, but I'll, yeah, and and you shouldn't you know, be, you shouldn't be. Uh, you got you got personality. That's the that's that's the most important thing. That's what I told my kid. You know, I'm gonna be a donkey king. If you make it, I'm gonna be a donkey king. I'm gonna steal some <laughs> of your money. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna go put hair all the way here. <laughs> Clip my ears because sometimes I just wanna cut all the hair. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I can't do that. I can't. No, I can't I, it's, your, it's your trademark. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. But you're. Mm, you're. But, uh, you're. But you got personality. That's the main thing, man. You. You're. You're too self conscious. You shouldn't worry about shit like that. Yeah. No. But I'll send you a picture. I'll find it when when I, when I was in graduation in two thousand. Uh -huh. You know, my ears are, look big. <laughs> so I've seen. Not, I've seen pictures of you without the hair. You've sent me pictures before. Yeah. I think you're exaggerating. It just—I <laughs> think that's you're what exaggerating. I was very worried when I turned forty. Probably my hair would start falling. Well, or, I could see know, some. I could see some gray in there. Yeah, I know how. <laughs> like two or three stuff like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I look. At, I go to the uh, this uh, Queens guitar guy, uh -huh. and I saw he's sixty, and he still have the oh, okay. Yeah. So. I yeah, you're fine, hope. man. You're good. Yeah. As long as you take care of yourself, you'll be fine. Yeah, I just I just rather to lose my teeth than my hair. Because if you were yeah, if you were to uh if you were to be losing hair, you'd have already started losing it. Like me. Yeah. Like I'm bald. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm bald. You could say I need a haircut, so my baldness is showing now. Yeah, I'm going bald. I've been I'm, can... I'm not going bald, I am bald. But I can see a line still. You still yeah, have well, that's hair. Just, yeah, that's just like an inch. There's just like an inch of hair, and then the rest of that's real. That's real faint. That's real faint, oh, brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's uh, real. That's yeah. There's not a lot going on there, man. But there's but you don't. Uh, but you like it. I don't care. I just shave my head off. I so don't shave my hair. If you have money, you wouldn't. Nah, nah. Of? If I, I was rich, I wouldn't have. No, I just fucking. Nah, I'm good. I'm would, not worried about it. No. No, I, I would do that in my ears and in my crook, Hillary teeth and everything. Really? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't I do none of that shit. I'm. The, why? Do, who cares? Like the thing is, I, who cares? Does your wife? Are, hey, do, does your wife think you're hot? Oh yeah, she's. Then what the fuck, man? <laughs> what are you worried about? You trying to find another wife? No. Nah. Oh. Well then, what, then what are you worried about, man? As long as she you know, thinks she look good, that's all that matters, man. But uh, good thing <laughs> is me. How how high are you? Uh, five. How ten, tall five, am I? I'm five yeah. eleven. Okay, I'm five ten. I think. Okay. So the good thing is, 
for interviews, you know, nobody's taller, a lot taller than me. <laughs> Otherwise, with this angle, you will be seeing my, my bottom <laughs> pole like that. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know too many people that that worry that much about their the way they look, man. I mean, you are really like you are really worried about nothing. Oh, yeah. it could be it could be a lot worse, dude. I can't take a picture with you know shorts and stuff like no no. Put it in front of my legs. I don't want my legs to show. <laughs> yeah, always. You're um you're letting out all your secrets now. Everybody's gonna get on the internet, and pick on your yeah. chicken legs and your dumbo but ears. You guys are my homies. <laughs> okay. okay. That's what you know. That's why because in the that's podcast we haven't have time. We haven't have time in the podcast to to get to know you know all, all these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, I never would have guessed that to be quite honest with you. That yeah. you're that self conscious because you are. Uh, very outspoken yeah no it it's that's why it's just covering stuff you know covering stuff oh just like a mask huh you're faking yeah. the funk no no it just you know, <laughs> if like like my family would have a pool i don't uh, know get because i think i have <laughs> some here and there i don't know man and i see people they just don't care they just without sure yeah dude like yeah that. i get in my pool i don't care man my guts hanging over my shorts i don't give a shit i don't yeah. care yeah, I mean, I, would I like to be uh, what I weighed ten years ago? Of course, I would. Why wouldn't I want to be a lot lighter? I mean, that make you feel better if yeah. you're skinnier. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not enjoy my uh, my uh, my fatness while, yeah. while I've got it. I'm, you know, who cares, man? Yeah, you know what I mean. But I'm not gonna go out in public, you know, <laughs> like a fucking slob either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm gonna you know, at least cover it up out in public, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you don't need to be having it hanging out. You're, I'm not going to, it's like a big girl's wearing yoga pants, you know what I mean? It's like, why do you have those pants on? Oh, yeah, I know. I saw a lot, see a lot of those stuff. Like, why are you, why are you wearing that? You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. Are there, uh, do you, uh, I mean, only because it's topical and, you know, we can only talk about, I mean, we got to move the topic around a little bit, but. Um, you live right on the, you live in California. Are you close to the water? Are you close to the ocean? Yeah, we're probably, it's just the mountain and then probably 20 miles, 30 okay. miles. Okay. So yeah. have you ever seen a UFO? No. I no. Didn't. What do you think about all them UFOs that they're shooting down and stuff? What do you think about that, man? I don't know. I, 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 my wife tell me a lot of these uh -huh. things and, and I just said, nah, I just, cause I'm still, like I told you since 2021, uh -huh. you know, whatever is happening, all the vaccine or this or the, the food and all, I just, you know, I'm, I'm so shut off to it that, that no, nah, don't tell me about it. Don't yeah, tell me about yeah. it. They, they were very excited about the UFO and stuff like, oh man, nah, I just, that I would just be need that I would just be need cold uh, from window cleaning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you on that. I'd much yeah. rather get window cleaning calls. But no, yeah, I was just wondering because there's a lot of that stuff going on around out, out by you. You know what I mean? That's no, no. I, and it's I really see a lot of people. But yeah. I, I think I still don't have you know this, the spirit to talk about stuff. I just like, <laughs> man. I just I just need an earthquake for California and New York. <laughs> They deserve one. <laughs> I don't know if anybody deserves an earthquake. Um, a little. I don't. You know what? I I think the problem really is this. Um, it's been more than twenty years since um, our country had to come together for something, and yeah. we've got nothing. You know, and unfortunately, bad shit happening usually brings people together. And as much as I'd rather not see something bad happen, um, you know, like with 9-11 and stuff like that, yeah. you know, the world, the, the terrorist attacks and stuff like that, um, a big tragedy like that really brings the country together and, um, you know, people really care about each other and brings things into perspective and we've just become complacent because nothing bad's happened. Everything's been going great, so now we got nothing better to do than focus on each other and you know find things wrong with each other. Yeah, it's I just know. like That's... the window cleaning groups when there's nothing going on and it's everybody's really slow. Everyone's like at each other's necks. 
Yeah, but that was cool. Like we're talking like 2017, you yeah. know, uh, uh, winter drama. I used to call it winter drama and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I remember. But me and you nah, used to argue man. all the time. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. For but that's I that brought a lot of good things to my life because because of that fighting stuff. I have a lot of friends like you guys now. Yeah. You know, I didn't have before. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, we weren't friends before. We used to fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I see Mark Tanner say or or anybody, you know. But that's a good thing that without that, well, I didn't that's have that just goes to show you that with too much idle time, you'll find something wrong with anything. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. and now that you know we've gotten to know each other, we we have a lot in common. You know what I mean? We yeah. have similar interests. And, you know, we see a value in each other. You don't, not a lot, you know, that there's not a lot of that in the world, especially nowadays. So it's yeah. kind of, you know, it's nice. You know what I mean? I, the community is great, don't you think? I yeah. mean, you're never on Facebook because you're always kicked off of it. For the end memes and stuff like that. <laughs> memes. Yeah, memes. Yeah, <laughs> you're a memes. <laughs> We're not going to talk about your memes because they are absolutely terrible. They're awful. There should be no <laughs> surprise why you get kicked off of Facebook. Um, when you post shit, I don't want you to think that nobody notices when you post that shit that you get kicked off for. We yeah. screenshot it and <laughs> send it to each other like, look what this motherfucker just posted on Facebook. Yeah, my, my wife. And uh, Mark's always me. like, well, he's gone for 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my wife sent me a screenshot yesterday and say, oh, baby, I wish I could like this. Mm -hmm. And I said, just like it. Yeah. You know, about, you know, some... Yeah. Isn't that weird how, how uh, even in your relationship, you know, like if you don't acknowledge it on Facebook, it's a problem now. Yeah, I know. Like, you didn't say happy Valentine's Day to me on Facebook. I was like, yeah, but I bought you a necklace and cooked you dinner and got you flowers and gave yeah. you a, hit, a kiss and a hug and I love you. What I mean, yeah. why do I need to tell everybody that? I know. That's what, that's <laughs> yeah. what Why do you need that validation? I think we're all guilty of that, though. You were just worried about how you look and stuff like that and yeah. your ears are too big and you're you gotta you don't have a forehead you got a five head yeah until here yeah, I and your head that your forehead ain't that far back dog it's kind of, i'll show you in a picture then i can't hey, man, why, why don't you get some corn rolls dog i bet you look good in some corn rolls what is that corn rolls some braids oh Bra no because they will start from here to you <laughs> no I tried that in 2003 with yeah, Iverson right. and stuff like that. Yeah, Alan Iverson, yeah. Oh, man, I was horrible all the way here. And, uh, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> so where exactly, like, where did you, there's a lot of, you know, questions that have been asked since you've been on the podcast and stuff like that, and kind of, you know, maybe somebody didn't. So where exactly are you from? initially no, where el, were you el born el salvador el salvador okay yeah and when did you come from uh, el salvador to uh, the united states i used to have a visa because mm -hmm. i was lazy i never i never worked one day in my life in el salvador because you know we'll have every i mean in in the middle class we have everything mm -hmm. you know so i was just lazy i just i didn't want to make five dollars a day minimum wage you know, I've, yeah. So I used to come here with visa to clean houses, mm -hmm. a housekeeper, and it used to make fifty dollars a day. And mm -hmm. I was like, "Fuck, it's great!" But the visa, you only can come for five months, six months. Mm -hmm. So one of those, I used to come visa, save money, go to college for one year. When I finish my money, come another six months mm -hmm. to to pay for my college to finish everything. Mm -hmm. But in one of those trips. My aunt sent me to this location. I don't know if you remember MapQuest before to mm -hmm. look for yeah. address. Mm -hmm. Used to print the page and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So go to this office, whatever. So I went to that office and and I say, Hell, good afternoon. You guys need mm -hmm. cleaning. Mm -hmm. My English was worse. So and it was this lady. It's my wife now, and she say, 
yeah, sure. Yo hablo español. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I went to the car and I told my brother, so this is the right place. Hey, they're inside this fucking hot girl. You should come and see her. <laughs> and uh, I was 24. Uh -huh. She was, no, I was 23. She was 18. Uh -huh. And so we like each other and stuff like that. So it was my, my I need to leave to El Salvador because I only have five months. But mm. she liked me. Mm. I don't know why, because that I was poor. My hair was bad. <laughs> so she told me, she told me, I was born in Canada, but uh, I have U.S. residence and uh, we can marry and stuff. And I was, I was, no, no. I, inside, I was, yes, yes, I want that. But... <laughs> so, so, I mean. We just married like, like a, two months later. Really? You guys were hang you guys were dating for two months and then ended up getting married that not that long after? In two thousand eight. Did that did that make you a citizen of the United States or did you have to did you have to No, that this? that they make me uh they give me a, a work permit, but uh -huh. it was the recession, so it was five thousand dollars in order to to finish all the process. So I think it was I was illegal for three months uh -huh. or something like that, but everything was in except the money. So I got, I got my work permit. Then six weeks later, I got my residence card. Uh -huh. And from then, the f the first thing I told my wife when I got my residence card, say, can you look me a job where I can use shorts, FedEx, or I saw a guy doing window cleaning uh -huh. because I, I, I don't know. I like shorts. Even I have my legs. I like shorts. Uh -huh. So she went to FedEx and USPS or UPS, mm -hmm. but UPS, you got to match the color of the uniform. I'm not yeah. if you noticed. Yeah. So only those people work there. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Jesus Christ. So Mario, 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 keep going. <laughs> so they found, she found me this job in fish uh -huh. and say it's window cleaning. So I went and mm -hmm. I start. I, I I used to believe it was the biggest job ever, man. They had me watching videos for two weeks about how to clean windows and. Uh, uh, but yeah, and then when I start making eight hundred dollars every two weeks, and I used to, oh, I can fake some signatures and say, oh, they signed already and make more money. <laughs> I, I, everything went out of control. Man. <laughs> yeah. So. How long did you work for Fish? From 2009 to 2012, 13. Okay. Because they went out of business. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were there were some still stolen stuff or well, I don't know what happened. And you know, so I went to the company to say, look, uh, they're closing it, so they're charging one hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. I can come here same guy so they pay me 25 out of the 100 so i can charge you 50 so i'm making twice and you paying half uh -huh. so everything was working for me so i started getting a lot of these stores right. that were gonna be yeah okay. so, uh, you know i mean that's that's the way to do it that's the way to get the ball rolling for sure yeah. what i mean what what uh, yeah i mean you're from el salvador you're pretty uh you're pretty fucking proud of where you come from but what's so cool about america why do uh, you like america so much uh, man it's look first there's you can shower anytime <laughs> over there that's he, number one he said, he said you can shower anytime <laughs> over over there you know yeah. the, the water comes from six of the morning to 12 so you need to fill so many containers for during the day so you wash the dishes with scooping water and mm -hmm. you know and so if you need to go to the restroom, you got to open the back part of the toilet, fill it with water, and then use it. So here I can flush it 20 times without worrying. <laughs> you know, those stuff yeah. that people think it's normal is not normal. Yeah. And and hot water, hot water. Uh -huh. We went to a suburb with my wife, uh -huh. and she went to shower, and she came out of the shower because my mom pays for a lady who cooks and uh -huh. cleans the house. And my wife was, uh, where is it? Where's the hot water? And the lady was, 
You know, where's the hot water? Right. Re- no, there's no hot water. You know, like what they, they, my wife thought it was normal having two. Yeah. One here, one. So, so there's a lot of creature comforts that you, I mean, I don't, I think the, the majority of the American population, I don't think they realize um, how luxurious it is to live in America. Yes, it, it's uh, everything. It, it, uh, uh, there's, you know, my chance to wash the clothes or you wash mm. your clothes in, in a, like that. And, and so, you know, if you need these clothes in emergency in one hour, it's dry and wash, you know, right. stuff like this. It's not normal. Right. It's great. Yeah. Um, like I've got relatives that, you know, grew up like that you know what i mean so yeah and i you know up until maybe 20 years ago i would go to their house down south and there you'd have to go outside to use the bathroom you'd have to boil water for a bath you know what i mean so if you wanted hot water for a bath you had to boil that shit (laughs) you know what i mean so yeah uh you and can definitely some... you could definitely say that we have a we have a good here. It's really weird that yeah. people think it's so bad here. It's really not. Oh no. You can have cars mm. over there, you know, everything is bust. Here you can cook anytime. Over there for the whole house, it's only like a little gas mm-hmm. uh thing. I think you guys call it propane. Yeah. So yeah. the propane the propane is for the kitchen mm-hmm. only. So if you're in the middle of the cooking and the propane is finished, your mm-hmm. father used to send you because it, it's a like a fifty pound thing, mm-hmm. walking for ten minutes to buy <laughs> more you propane. Know, <laughs> here you have cars, there's propane yeah. everywhere, yeah. and you know it's nice. That's why you cannot boil water for to shower because you're gonna end the propane for a whole month. And it's yeah. just one, and over there you get paid once a month, four hundred dollars a month. So. The propane needs to last. Uh, uh, toilet paper. Uh, there's only ten for the month, so don't go overspend it. It's stuff like that, you know, like like a cookie cookie uh, box. Uh, don't overeat because it has to last for two weeks. For this is for you, for you, for you. Here I finish one, buy another one. Uh, I wanna go there. I take, take that car or or the other car. It's it's blessing, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a different way of life. That's for sure. Yeah, no question about that. Yeah. Do yeah, you it, uh, do you see yourself? Do you see yourself always cleaning windows, or is there something you'd rather be doing other than cleaning windows? If my kid don't make it in in boxing, mm-hmm. yeah, I I like to keep doing that, except. Uh, uh, when my kids grow, grow, I don't want them to help me. Not because mm-hmm. it's bad. It's just like I don't like the you way you want. It, you want. You want better for them. That, but that, they could do good. But I don't have patience when I see the grabbing a squeegee certain way mm-hmm. or tapping it here and not. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have patience for that. <laughs> and, and and they they want they help me out sometimes, but I just tell them stay. Just stand here with this you know uh-huh. this stick. In case any homeless comes or whatever, just kind of like a guard, <laughs> right? yeah. Because oh, you, and I remember you right. you were saying uh, you guys uh, you were saying about Richie Blue one day uh-huh. that oh Richie Blue has to pay for parking. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what the fuck? You guys don't pay for parking and stuff like that? every mm-hmm. we every store we gotta do gotta walk for parking and then two dollars clean one store then pay for parking and you know yeah, where i live parking. yeah where i live i don't pay for parking no That's now if i was to go to cleveland or toledo i have to park i have to pay to park but yeah I mean, that's, where i live yeah no 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 part no pay for parking yeah that's kind of cool have more freedom you know don't have to yeah, stress about more yeah. stuff that's yeah it's one less thing to have to worry about that's for sure yeah, you know, you brought up your kids in boxing. Is uh, how where did the boxing come from? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, where where did the passion for boxing come from? I I just know how to throw rocks because I I lost all my fights. Ten out of ten, I lost it. So I don't know how to fight. So I, I used to like play soccer. 
Uh -huh. But there was one guy, Argentinian guy, who used to clean windows with me and say, hey, Chino Maidana is coming to Oxnard. Let's go watch him. So I say, I took the kids. So the older one, he saw, you know, the Raptor cars, the Corvettes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, he, by that time, he used to collect a lot of cars from Fast and Furious. Okay, uh, yeah. No. So he sold the cars in real life, the re, you know, real cars. And so the uh, media taking pictures and used to, hey, come on, come to the ring. Oh, look at this little kid. And mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't know anything about boxing. So he, he liked that. He said, I want cars like those. He was five, six. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, yeah, gonna be a boxer. That's fine. But then, you know, we start going more and more. Mm -hmm. And one block from us, they just opened a boxing gym. Mm -hmm. And with Trump was in office, so I was able to afford it. And so they kind of, I mean, the, the smaller one, he doesn't like anything. He's uh, like a dull, lazy animal who crawl like that. <laughs> that guy is so... <laughs> I take him because um, he has to do something. Otherwise, uh -huh. he'll be just sleeping under the table or something. <laughs> but he doesn't want to do it. I'll send you the video. I think you have seen Box, the little one. Say, oh, yeah. I've, I've seen you. I, I, I follow them both on YouTube. So anything that you post on YouTube, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. Because the older one wants to be a boxer, but the little one doesn't want it. But he told me, if I win a tournament, can I quit? And uh -huh. I knew he was going to lose uh -huh. because he... He just say, okay, yeah, if you win a tournament, you quit. Uh -huh. He won. The motherfucker won. Two weeks <laughs> <laughs> now he's he's free. I mean, he's still going to go train, but he won't fight anymore. Okay? Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't like it because before the fight, you got to have such a small food portion the whole week. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, they eat, but horrible food. Like Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got to watch their weight. Yeah, no cookies, no whatever. Yeah, yeah. So now he's free from from fighting. Uh, yeah, and the one who likes, who wants to be a boxer, he only got the bigger guys. See the picture I told yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Because he's in the middle of. Uh, oh, he'll, he'll, yeah, he'll probably, he'll probably, he'll, he'll spring up there. He just, you know, lull. some kids get a little, little bit, uh, they get that growth spurt a lot sooner than most kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, I was, a, I was really short until I got into like my sophomore year and then I started to yeah. grow. You know what I mean? I was like 15 or 16 years old before I really started gaining any height. You know what I mean? Oh so. yeah, same as as me. You're right. And there, uh, some yeah. friends at twelve, thirteen, they were high, you know, right. tall already. Well, then that'll just make him sharper with his fundamentals. And you know, yeah. if he focuses on his fundamentals and doing everything the right way, his body will catch up, and then he'll be ready yeah. to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But we so were, he, he, all in the family, we were rooting for Leo to lose because we wanted him, <laughs> and he won. But. <laughs> <laughs> you were cheering for your kid to lose that's terrible man because i i i mean i didn't want him to quit because i know he's just lazy but he likes this youtube stuff that's what the school gave him this old computer and mm -hmm. you, i don't know if you see his video of superhero yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. wants to do stuff like that yeah i see yeah. i see his videos my yeah. son's the same way my son i would much rather my son be more athletic and do more sports and stuff like that, but he's just not into it, man. He just, yeah. it's not his thing. You know what I mean? He don't even care to watch it. He doesn't, you know, it's just not his oh. thing. Some people, some kids are just like that. You know what I mean? You yeah. know, every, you know, it's just of what side of the brain is there, you know, like some people are right brained and some people are left brained. Yeah. Well, some people are more creative and some people are more, uh, you know, more apt to want to do things physically. Like, you know, uh, baseball or basketball or football you know what i mean yeah. you never know you know you, so what it sounds about, to me like you got one that is uh, you got a, yourself an artist and an athlete man you know what i mean there's yeah. what can you know you gotta yeah you got to uh instead of looking at that um this is just my advice instead of looking at it like ah i wish you would box you know what i mean maybe yeah. you should probably put that if this is what you're gonna do, then make sure that you're doing it good. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that's why that's why I don't know if you noticed uh my 
he's doing that thing for my daughter's channel. Just small yeah. things so, so he can get practice in. in right. Uh, yeah, just the this, same way uh, with like. Uh, you know, stuff. right, and you know, if he's if he if he's if he doesn't want to fight, and your other his older brother's going to fight, yeah. then maybe he should be videoing his matches yeah. for him. You know what I mean? So yeah. he's learning how to use a camera. You know what I mean? So and, and like you and like you say, mm -hmm. that's what you're right because that's what we're doing. Okay, now you're gonna do this, but then you're gonna sit in the table and edit your sister videos and stuff like that. You yeah. know, when, oh, well, that guys... way, that way, he's still involved with family activities too. You know yeah. what I mean? He's still going to the gym with his brother, and you know what I mean. So you know, you guys are still doing things together, but he's still able to scratch his creative itch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, because I don't know anything about computer or whatever, mm -hmm. but I noticed that I'd rather to go to one hour and ten minutes to work out mm -hmm. this editing thing. That's horrible. Three days <laughs> for a for four minute video. Yeah, it's. I, yeah, it no. can be a pain in the, it can be a pain, like I'm in the middle of editing a video now and I got to go through hours of footage to, to just to put something out. It's, it's difficult. Yeah, it's a you, lot, you see man. my daughter, my daughter's video was just yes. nails and stuff. Yeah. Four days, four <laughs> days. <it is. laughs> yeah. yeah. Because it's, it kind of came out kind of, kind of good. You see, the, I um, thought it was great I mean, for a kid. Yeah, it's yeah, good for a kid's it. video. Yeah, it's for great. Yeah. So now he's he's doing that stuff and and he wants me to buy a, a oh you're gonna hate him too <laughs> a, like a two mi microphone things to interview people in the gym like oh how do no you start, that's like, cool a, like a five oh, minute thing oh that, yeah well just I have a microphone no not podcast but you know like no a, yeah like no a, I have a I have a uh, I have a Rode microphone for my camera so you can uh, I put the receiver on my GoPro and then I can wear. The microphone. Oh no way! And walk around, and you know what I mean. So you can wear it. Yeah, you. I, I'll that's send you. Cool, man. I'll send you the link to it, so you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's interesting. About. Yeah, yeah, and you can get one with like two different receivers. It'll take two receivers, so yeah, you, you can have two microphones going at once on yeah, one because, camera. Yeah, he wants to do like a five minute thing. How do you start boxing? Whatever, whatever. Right? Yeah, just, just to keep busy and stuff. Yeah, so that's. The, I mean, you got to nurture that, man. I mean, I know it's not up your alley, but. No, no, but but I'm very bad. At it. I didn't know about it. I was thinking about buying like a five yard uh, microphone to split and be like oh, that, a cable. Yeah, no, you can get a wireless microphone. I'll send you the link to yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's yeah. You I, he'll like that, and it's not it's not expensive. It's you know on, it's around a, like a couple hundred bucks. You know what I mean? It's cheap. Yeah, no, but but it works. If that and works, it, well, it works real good too. Yeah, man, it works really well. If you watch. If you watch any of my vlogs or any of that shit, that's what I'm using in that. You know, it's nice. Like I said, I'll I'll send you a link to it. It's cool. You, it, because, it, yeah, have nice audios. Yeah, it's good. It's it it, it ha, it'll it'll work out really good for him. Now, do you uh do you uh do you see yourself um do you see yourself ever leaving California? Oh yes. Yeah, I the, the only good thing about California is the boxing amateur boxing. Mm -hmm. So many kids, so every mm -hmm. week in their tournament in Texas, mm -hmm. you really need to move in order to get some tournament. There's mm -hmm. here, I don't know why. That's the only thing, the boxing thing, and right. and well, pretty much just that. Yeah, yeah. If it seems to be on like the east and the west coast boxing is really prevalent you know what i mean you know yeah you know if uh i was curious about that because you know he seems to be pretty into the boxing thing you know yeah. what i mean um yeah so. yeah that's the only thing in california but yeah we're leaving uh i think i only have three thousand dollars more to pay in the land i bought by mr phillips uh -huh. state uh -huh. yeah after that we're planning to I put three trailers or whatever uh -huh. um, in the future because I want to retire in, in, a, in, a, in a place when I can hear music. Look, yeah. Here, you cannot hear music. You go to sleep at the time that your neighbor stop uh, walking. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You can, look, um, you know, I haven't even had a, a, a prime with my wife. You know, all the time, everything's so small, so the kids are sleeping, the mm -hmm. baby's sleeping, <laughs> so, you know. I, yeah. I don't know what's, like, one time in life being free, so I just, even right. that, but that time, I'm going to be old, but I really want to 
fart, listen to loud music, or fight with uh, my wife and scream or whatever <laughs> without people listening. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, I I uh, I uh, I don't know how I don't know how I did it before. To be honest with you, living mm-hmm. that close to people. I mean, we're, our neighbors are close, but it's not as close as it used to be. It used to be terrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I can only imagine what it's like in a really congested place like California. Cause there's a lot of people there. Yeah, and everybody walk. Everything is old because the neighbor upstairs always, you know, they're just walking, but you hear stomping and yeah. and, and the pictures of the frames are falling. It's <laughs> horrible. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could do California. I would like to go. To California one time just to, you know, say that yeah. I've been there and see some things yeah. and stuff like that. But I don't know if I could live in California. What about Florida? Um, I don't know if I could do Florida either, man. I'm maybe if I was older and I, but I honestly think I would miss the winter to be quite honest with you. Not even so much winter, but the fall. I would really miss the fall. The fall is a really, it's beautiful. I love the fall. Well, <laughs> I like from March to October. Yeah. Well, you're from south of the border, so you're used to everything being nice and warm, and yeah. you know, yeah. I'm you. I'm. I was. I'm from the north. You know what I mean? It's nice to see the leaves change color. If you, if you ever experience fall weather in a place like Ohio or Pennsylvania yeah. or something like that, you'd see or, um, like uh. Tennessee or Virginia yeah. or West Virginia, you'd see what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you just need like jeans or uh or uh or shorts and a hoodie. Yeah. That's perfect weather. Oh, okay. Perfect. What about what about Florida? Do they have uh fall? Same as yours? No, no, it's hot down there, boy. Oh, cool. It's hot. Nice. <laughs> uh California guy be perfect in Florida. That you'd be you'd be right at home in Florida. That's where yeah. you should go. You should go to Florida and work for um Mark. You should oh, go work be, for Mark for Tan- go work for Mark Tanner. <laughs> that'll be perfect. Yeah. Mark yeah, would no, lo- Mark would love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just yeah, whenever he makes the offer, we're moving, man. Yeah, because <laughs> here I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. And I think there's some boxing in Florida, man. There should be lots of yeah, boxing in Florida. It's a lot. Plenty of martial arts kind of stuff, you know, boxing and MMA and all that stuff down there. Yeah, that's crazy in Florida. Perfect. Yeah. The only thing that there. worries me, I, I saw a 4K video of somebody walking in Miami. Yeah. And I have to make sure it wasn't uh, Cameroon or something like that, but it was Miami. Yeah. That was doesn't look like like the United States. <laughs> oh my god! But other than that, I, yeah, I gotta say, man, you're you're one of the one of my favorite people um, I've ever met in window cleaning. You're like you're like one of my favorite dudes. You're um, you're unpo- unapologetically you. That's for sure. Yeah. That- yeah, you're always. I don't know because that's nothing wrong. I just, you know. Yeah, well, you know what? Everyone, everyone is different, and everyone's, uh, you know. Not only is everyone different, but they, it takes all kinds. You know what I mean? Like it takes yeah. a village. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, different. It's not. It's not bad to be different. You know, just like you know, you don't like certain things. Some people don't like the things that you like, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, yeah. I can appreciate um, a different point of view, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, what I really like is when dudes are themselves. For example, I'm so I love El Salvador, I'm very proud of my country, mm-hmm. and I represent it good in my good things, but I don't like living with Salvadorians, they're mm-hmm. too loud, they, you know, <laughs> they throw trash and stuff like that. Right. And is it true? But I don't know why people don't say it. It, it, it you know, it just is true. It, and, and just people are people nowadays are just too worried about hurting somebody's feelings. It's like nobody can be honest with each other anymore. Yeah. So dudes like you who are just 
like I said, just keep it real. There's few and far between. That's one of my favorite things about you is you don't really, you're not, you're not faking the funk. You're, you're yourself. Yeah. As long as I've known you, you're been the same guy. The only, the only thing that's changed really is you're, uh, you're not as combative as you used to be. You used to really, really I go know, after people. <laughs> I, I, I think I lost my spark, man. Well, and, you know, I, I'm the same way. I used to really go at people, too. After a while, it just kind of loses its fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You guys aren't fun anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you, you, you used to say, too, and, you know, YouTube, you just block people. You just don't waste your time starting. It's, yeah, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look. Look what happens when you waste your time with that. You know what I mean? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing happens. That's what happens. Nothing happens. It's completely not. It's not. It's worthless to do. I just. Uh, um, I enjoy talking to who I enjoy talking to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then uh, like the other people, it's not that they don't matter. It's just their opinions. Just not. I don't need it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't need it. If that's the way you feel, then. You know, I ha I feel a certain way about some people that do stuff um, on social media, but you don't. I don't get into their YouTube comments and be like, "Hey, you know." Yeah. I just don't see the point in that. You know what I mean? Unless you engage me, you know what I mean. If you're like, come to my, get in my inbox and start getting after me, then I'll I'll tell you what the what what the business is. But especially in that, winter. Especially in winter. Yeah. But, but I, and, you know, I, I don't. I'm not even a. Uh, I'm not even in the any of the groups. Like I, I'm like the the Squeegee Life pages, but me personally, like my p Facebook profile, I'm not in any of the groups. I, there's no, oh, yeah. I, I'm part of the Squeegee Life podcast page, but that's it. You know what I mean? What and, about the new the new uh, group that Mark did? The I'm not in. Me. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm in. I'm. I, I don't. I think the Squeegee Life page is in there, but that's it. And I, I don't. I don't yeah. engage in it, man. It's hey, what's just up not... with, with Mark in this group? It's good. Uh, Mark is um, pretty uh, a pretty gangster on the internet. Is Mister Meme? He's yeah. really good at that. Yeah, yeah. He's really good at that. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not good enough on that stuff as he is. He's got the all the apps on his phone and. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a supply of people's heads and stuff so he can swap people's that. heads out. Yeah, he's ready to go. Yeah. He's got his little cast he of went characters. Other and, level. Yeah. Yeah, a whole nother level. Have he, you ever seen Mark without a uh, cap um a hat? Hat? No, I don't think I have. Mark's Fair always enough. got a hat on, yeah. I think yeah. He, I, I don't think he, he's not he's not a hairstyle guy, I don't think. I think the only time he takes his hat off is to go to sleep. And he I puts know, his hat I, back on. It's just kind of like it's kind of like uh, your haircut. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he's you. He's always got a hat on. You've always got that haircut. You know what I mean. Oh, it's just like okay. his. That's this. Maybe he's hiding something. Yeah, because <laughs> I have never seen him. I've seen you with hat. Yeah, or hat. Think, yeah, but never Mark without the hat. Yeah, Mark. I don't think I've ever seen Mark without a hat. No. He must have a lot because all it was, yeah, was never smell bad. <laughs> His hat? I mean, he should. He, he must have a lot. Otherwise, or the, the otherwise they stink. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mark, you fucking stink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I gotta tell you, man. Um, I, I, I thought maybe this would go a different way, but. I'm glad that you uh you were you were good and you were you told me all kinds of stuff I didn't think you were gonna tell so people get to kind of know you a little bit better you yeah. know what I mean you know what I mean so um that kind of that's why I like doing these with people so people can kind of get to know and I love that that concept when I saw the first one on one uh -huh. you know I, I don't I you know and I put my family to watch and Leo is mad sometimes because he, <laughs> you know he doesn't say listen listen yeah you know. Yeah, because I like the one-on-ones, especially when I saw Chris, like you say, I got to know more things. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just like that guy. Too bad that he's he became a little gay, too. He doesn't talk to me. I don't know. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, he's 
He's kind of gotten he's kind of gotten quiet with me too. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. When he said about the stores, I haven't been in the mall in ten years. I haven't bought clothes <laughs> in ten years. Everything you know, just, just you order all, everything online. Yeah, the Union Bay Union Bay shorts. Uh-huh. You know, four four Union Bay shorts every six months. You guys know. Uh, go to Union Bay. Use the promo code Biden's gay and get it. So. <laughs> No, I just I just don't like going out. I, you don't. I uh, because... So what are you gonna do when Biden wins again the next election? I don't think he'll be. He's gonna uh, win. You know that, right? Or... You know he's gonna. You know. You know he's gonna win, right? Oh yeah, they're winning everything. From they're now. winning from here from here on out, dude. All yeah. those election it's over. Yeah. 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 No, they, we're not seeing the light again. Too. <laughs> All this generation that won't have kids. Mm-hmm. You know. Our kids will have less competence because nobody's having kids nowadays because everybody likes sleeping with dogs or cats instead of women. So <laughs> they're not having kids. So. I think I think that people I think people have seen what can happen when things don't go right and you vote the wrong guy in. I think people are more than aware now like there's so much bad stuff going on right now that shouldn't be going on yeah. and it's a direct reflection of the way people decided to vote you know what i mean yeah. it sucks but you know the country's in a in a really bad spot right now <clears throat> i think it'll start to come out of it it just hopefully we can get through the next couple of years without anything terrible happening you know what i mean that's yeah. i think that's the thing that you know we need to maybe focus on and <clears throat> make sure that we're doing our best to yeah, uh, to get by. You know, what I mean, you can't focus on that stuff. I think um, with you, like you said before, you were like, I don't, I don't entertain any of that stuff. That's the way to be, dude. You yeah. know, what I mean, if you think about it, just to not just. I know Chris Lambernides. He's like that. He doesn't watch the news. He doesn't read the paper. Yeah. Because it's just all doom and gloom. And, you know, when it comes right down to it, if it's really going to affect your life, you'll know about it. You know what I mean? Because it's going to yeah. affect your life. If it doesn't, what's the point in focusing any undue attention yeah. on at, it? At, at, at this point, it will affect it. If I have money, like before, you know, I'll be just trolling in the internet, fighting. In it. But right now, I, you know, I just... Yeah, I it's, just... It's not worth yeah. it. It's not worth it. It's... uh. There's just so much other stuff going on in the world and in your day to day life that what the hell does that any of that stuff matter? You know what I mean? It's yeah. ridiculous. I got way tied up into it and um it, it's it, for nothing because what was gonna happen was already happening. It already happened. There was nothing you could do about it. Yeah, you know? same as me at the election. I was crazy about the election, the post election, mm -hmm. waiting for the result. I, I I got like a year, crazy year, and I saw nothing changes yeah, and everything too. hope I had. So I just you were the only one who say to Mr. Jason Lehman and myself, uh -huh. no Jason, Biden already won. That won't yeah. change. Yeah. And I had the big hope. No man, this TG is wrong. I know, I know that this and that and yeah, I had a partner, uh, and you were it's right. Just, it's just nothing. What what was going to happen was what was going to happen. There's nothing we could do about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. They made their the decision was made with that with that election was over before it started. <laughs> yeah, but that, probably that's why it kept me just away because I really had hopes mm -hmm. that you know you were wrong that mm -hmm. there was going to be Supreme Court and uh, all this stuff. No, nah, no, but, they won't get involved. No, they won't get involved. There's some people out there that still think any day now Trump's no. coming back. <laughs> the only yeah, way I, I, the only way Trump is gonna get back in office is if he runs in 2024 and wins by a but, landslide. And I don't think I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna run again. I think someone else is gonna run. And yeah, so, but yeah, I mean, there's know. so many zombies still that even yeah, even well, Jesus can go, but. There's so many people who I hope that the, the, the vaccine ca catch on them and they just don't vote soon <laughs> just, because there's too many of them. There's too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's wild, bro. 
I mean, because you're a character, you know, man. You're hilarious, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know what I mean, you're like saying. A, <laughs> like a little micro, micro cardi, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that stuff going on too, man, which is really crazy. Yeah. I just, you know, I want to tell you this is the way I looked at it. Um, I don't go and regularly get a flu shot. You know what I mean? I don't go every year and get a flu shot. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it's not about, you know, believing this or believing that. Yeah. I just don't go and get a flu shot. Now, I could see if I was an older person or something like that, you know, or had a, a yeah, you know, underlying illness, I would need to protect myself. Yeah. And then it would make sense. But if I'm a healthy person, it just, uh, the selfish thing to do would be to run out and get a vaccine. You know what I mean? That's just my yeah. personal opinion as a healthy person. I'm not the healthiest person, person in the world, but I have an immune system. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. But that's um, the thing, the vaccine didn't, it doesn't stop the virus. No, like, no. Te, like tetanus? Te, I think that's called well, for tetanus, me, right? Yeah, I, I don't be, yeah, I, I want to say, for me, it was just too quick. Yeah. You know, like, we got this new thing out, it's really hurting people, and, you know, people are getting sick, and they're dying, and, oh, we've got this vaccination for it. I'm not taking that fuck brand new shit yeah. and putting it in me, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the bodies are going to have to be piled up in the road before I'm even going to consider <laughs> injecting myself with anything. And that's It's going to have to be about... the zombie apocalypse before I do yeah. any shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, honestly. And that's another thing about this country, why I love it so much. You saw Australia... UK and all those things. Oh no, you don't How eat crazy. if you don't get vaccinated. Yeah, you know this is the only country in the world have freedom. Yeah, and that's well, they amazing. tried to they they tried to they tried to take that away from people. You know they yeah. tried they tried to they we were really close to that happening here. You know what I mean? But you know, like you said, we live in a place where um, you know you're at least afforded some some rights. You know what I mean? You don't have to. As of right now, we're still afforded some rights. We don't have to worry worry about too yeah. much of that stuff. You can come from another country, meet a woman, and get married and have kids. And you know what I mean? St sit and, in front of an American flag and talk to a yeah. fat white guy from Ohio. And, and now, <laughs> and now you can even meet another man if you like. Yeah, yeah, and you can marry yeah. a dude if you want. And that there's yeah. anything wrong with that. You yeah, know, if that's no, I know. You There's want, so much freedom. But, yeah, if that's what no. you want to do, you can do that here. Now, if you lived in a different country, they might stone you for that. You might, they might kill <laughs> you for that. <laughs> uh, you're too much, man. I'm glad I, that I, you behaved yourself. This whole thing, we're 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 getting ready to close this up, and you behaved yourself the whole time. You've only slipped up a couple times. I don't know if people are going to catch it. Most <laughs> most likely, people are going to catch it, but they may not. But I'm super proud of you. You did really well. I was nervous. I was like, man, Mario's going to say some crazy No, shit. no, I was very excited about it. That's why I've been texting you yesterday and today and stuff like that. And this this sickness is not going away. That's yeah. I was, yeah, I, I was happy. Well, I'm glad that. that you guys are all starting to feel better. You know what I mean? That's yeah. good. No, yeah. you saw my daughter's. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's, she oh, sounds better. Oh, you, you saw her, 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 her who? Uh -huh. Her. The big forehead? Yeah, that's me, but... She does not have a big forehead, dude. Oh, that's like a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is the same thing. Like a Your mom's coconut. got a big head? Your mom wow. got a water head? All the uh, my mom's side of the family they have chicken leg <laughs> and big forehead and my dad's side of the family <laughs> and my dad's side of the family yeah. they are they are kind of stacky and strong and big ears. And no, they're the only bad thing about my dad's side of the family they're short but they're like Michael Chandler. Chandler oh, okay, you know? yeah, but you know yeah, but don't part. didn't you get your big ears from your dad? No, I think that's my mom's side. Because so my your dad, mom just got a big head, big ears, chicken legs, everything. The only mom good thing just about my ruined mom's it. Side, your, your mom ruined it for you, huh? Oh. The only, bad, <laughs> the only good thing about my mom's side is, uh, you they talk a lot. They have personality. Uh -huh. They people like them and stuff like that. But that's, my dad's family. That's where that's that, then you did good, man. You did good because everybody likes you. Yeah. There's not too many people. Side, there's not too many people that that dislike you. 
Yeah, I mean, without trolling, you know, I don't have a problem. Before, because I, we used to be just trolling people or whatever, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But from a dad's side of the family, he can be in the party. Hey, do Mario. <laughs> hey, you want to eat? <laughs> you know, like, and it's they quiet. don't talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, my family's not like that, and neither side of my family is like that. Both sides of my family are people are loud and rambunctious, and so I got it on both sides of my family. Yeah, no, that's cool. I really enjoy uh, watching your videos, especially one video when Mark Tanner went, went through your place, uh -huh. and you pulled him a jacket. Yeah. I think that, that was like a, for, for, yeah. for Josh, the big Josh. Josh, yeah. He, he looks so like a kid yeah. looking at you like that. Mark is really little, man. But he was stiff because of the cold. Yeah, so, he's, a, he's a short guy. And you got to figure, I'm like six, seven inches taller than him. And I'm I, that jacket is like a 2X. It's, it's, extra, it's, it's a size bigger so I can wear a, you know, because you got to wear layers yeah. up here. So yeah. you got to, you can't have a tight jacket. You got to have, to be a, you know what I mean? You got to, so it was, it's way bigger than it needs to be. Yeah. The last time but, anybody wore that jacket was Mark. It's still in the closet. I never wear that coat. It's for like when it snows out, you know? But he was asking for, for more. Yeah. Cause he was cold, man. He's from yeah. Florida, man. He's from Florida. It was cold up here when he was here. Super and I remember cold. somebody was recording you from, from, from the living room and you and Mark were like, Two kids. No, I finished faster than you. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. I definitely no. finished faster than he did. I'm definitely and, uh, faster window cleaner. And I, and I was like, fuck, man, I must be so fun, like getting together one day. If we be close, just we to got, be yeah. in, in, a, in a table. Yeah, oh, that'd be that's a good time. Um, we went uh, when we went to the huge convention. I got it. You know, we went to the huge convention and we went to the thing for uh, the reach at grand opening, getting to hang out with pe the guys from the the window cleaning that you know from you know social yeah. media and stuff like that it's fun you know it's it's yeah. it's a good time everyone should try to do that at least once or twice you know what i mean get together with the fellas we'll get together one one of these days i'm sure yeah that'd be great man because we cannot die without knowing each other yeah yeah that would suck yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well dude i gotta tell you man i really appreciate you coming on the show i know we wanted to do it earlier, but we couldn't, you know, we had to put it off a week because you weren't feeling well. And I'm glad that yeah. we got it done. So, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you coming on and hanging out with me and bullshitting a little bit. Yeah. And maybe it's we'll great, get you, man. Thank maybe you we'll, for having me. Yeah. Maybe we'll be able to get you on the podcast again sometime soon. That'll be fun. You guys uh, do it on th uh, Thursdays now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. One of these days we'll have you get back on. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be amazing. Now I can I can have a challenge with Mark. You take the hat off and I pull my hair back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'd be great. But no screenshot. No screenshots. <laughs> oh, whatever it is, screen record or whatever. Well, on. it was nice hanging out with you, Mario. You take it easy, buddy. All right, take care, man. Peace. Thank you, TJ. Yep.